间，公主 H F P 三。On the list of upcoming dramas, when from Momo Young reached the top, and Wang Yubo's contribution was surprising. This wave of dramas to be broadcast is well received. Seeing the list of freshly released dramas to be broadcast on the Prosperity Index, The Wind Rises, Momo Young starring Wang Yubo, Song Qian, and Huang Xuan. There is an epic masterpiece. Life is like first seen starring Li Shen, Wei Daxun, and Zhu Yuan. There is their military uniform starring Wang Jingyu and Li Chen. There is also Golden Years starring Lu Shishi and Ni Ni. It's almost a gorgeous drama, censorship orientation, which is too impatient to wait. What the audience looks forward to most is the Wind Rises Luo Yang starring Wei Nibo, Song Qian, and Huang Xuan. One is the top actor who has been in the limelight in the past two years. One is the newly promoted Golden Eagle Goddess. And the other is a powerful group with outstanding acting reputation. How interesting is this lineup? What's more interesting is that netizens are already guessing how the three people are ranked. Song Qian is okay, acting as the heroine of her mercy. She is a woman. Wang Yibo and Wang Xuan are expected to cause headaches for fans. From the perspective of artist contribution, Wang Yibo ranked first. The influence and topicality should not be underestimated. Speaking of it, since Wang Yibo's Chen Cheng Link became popular. Both the quantity and quality of film and television resources have been improved qualitatively. Yu Fei, Ice Rain and Fire and Wind Up Wu Young are all topical works. Furthermore, he won the audience's favorite actor award, and the feature can be expected. Huang Xuan's upward trend is also quite obvious. A word of mouth work aiming let his influence and market appeal have also been significantly improved. Not only has acting skills, but can also carry ratings. It's okay. Looking forward to the spark between them. Ranked second is Life is Like First Seen, starring Li Shen, Wei Daxun, and Ji Yuan. Unlike the literary play title, the trailer shows an epic, majestic momentum. The picture is very magnificent and very textured, and the lens has a sense of age. The trailer is also very well edited, which makes people look forward to the complete plot. In addition to the superior production quality, the performances of Li Shen, Chang Xia, and others are impressive, especially Li Shen. The look of the military uniform makes people shine. There is no shadow of Korean business dialect at all. Like a different person, plasticity and creativity are really too strong. Since Dear Love became popular, Lee Shen seemed to sink himself in again. Focus on your own life and your own work, without marketing and seldom business. However, his influence and topicality remain high. A 52% personal contribution rate is recognition of him. Great, Ju Yulong and Tong Yos the Rebel is also on the list. It's worth looking forward to the collision of two powerful factions. I don't know what surprises it will bring us. The Ideal City starring Sun Li and Zhao Yuting was also officially announced. This drama saw Yang Chu's name again. I have to say that her film and television resources are still quite good, and she is moving up step by step. Dream Awakening Chung An starring Chen Yi and Zhang Yuxi ranked seventh from the perspective of the film. Ching Yu's acting skills are as stable as ever. Fu Huada was also very sophisticated, and the picture is also very beautiful. Looking forward to it. The eighth ranked their military uniform, starring Wang Jingyu and Li Chen. I saw the preview leaked on the internet. It is very textured, and the picture is very magnificent. The love story of a soldier and a doctor is about protecting the family and defending the country, as well as pure love. It's so knocking. The poster is too. It feels so good when I look at it. I have to praise it. Huang Jingyu is really handsome as a special soldier. Li Qin's military uniform is also beautiful, and he has a strong sense of CP. The Golden Years, starring Lu Shishi and Ni Ni, has also released posters. The two beauties are really eye-catching, and they are very decent and temperamental. The eyes are a bit dramatic, with a gas field. Thinking of their school costumes, they are also very young. They are in very good condition, and I am looking forward to their fit. Almost every one of these ten plays is very interesting. Looks of high quality. I'm super looking forward to it. I feel that there are several hits. If they are all broadcast together, don't be afraid of the famine. Chase after you. In other words, is there anything you want to chase in these dramas? Which one are you most looking forward to?